Hello everybody, this is M0 Sugar Go Sugar. Welcome to the shack. Um, <clears throat> in the past, it used to be very expensive to get onto the YSX system. The reason for this was that you needed a radio that was a node radio plugged into a HRI 200 box, uh, plugged into your PC. You had to set up ports in your router, um, which could be affected by antivirus or other programs running on the computer. And it was very, very, basically very expensive. Uh, a standard um, uh, YSX setup used to cost it in the region of about £700. Um, and that's because you needed two radios, a HRI box, uh, to get into the YSX system. So, <coughs> What something has changed. So let's see what's changed. Um, this is my website. Welcome to the C CQ UK room on YSX. And the web address is cq.uk.com. Uh, so you can view there and have a look at everything. Um, I will be posting videos on YouTube. I haven't done so for about a year. Uh, the reason being is uh, early last year I had a stroke and it sent me a bit uh, off the edge shall we say mentally um, to the point that I couldn't figure out what a computer was or how to program a radio uh, and well now I'm back uh, after a long illness and a long recovery so I thought I'd make a video so what's changed well that was the uh, that was my normal setup for wires X uh, to get into the uh, the, the uh, uh, YSX system which consisted of two radios and just one of those HRI boxes that you see in the picture uh, the total cost of those radios was £600 300 for each and the HRI box was another £100 and it was out of the price range quite frankly for uh, for people wanting to try the YSX system um, it was, you know, comparable with the cost of a HF radio, a decent HF radio at that second hand. So uh, uh, recently, Yesu have brought out something called a firmware update. And basically it, what it does is it reprograms the radio with a new set of instructions. So I'll just uh, show you what version of the uh, update we're working on now. Uh, just go into the menu system on the radio so software version I'm using at the moment is the latest version from Yesu I'll just move the camera so you can see that a little bit better okay so the main software version is 2.4 the panel software version is 2.1 and the DSP software version is 4.31 if you up firmware upgrade your radio uh, to these versions uh, what it basically does is it it negates the need for the second radio uh, or the talk through radio and uh, the HRI box um, and it reprograms the radio to uh, to uh, just use the radio itself to talk direct to the internet uh, using the programming cable that came with the radio uh, and this applies to the FT2D the FTM100 and the FTM400. So immediately uh, getting onto the YSX system is very, very cheap in comparison to how it used to be. Uh, somewhere in the region of about £200 will buy you a, a second hand um, FTM100D. So uh, that's a bit of information that's happened recently. So I'll, I'll show you the system working. I'll just get back to the, uh, the front screen again. So there we are. We're on... Uh, uh, let's change the memories. Right, we're into memory. And there we are. We're in AMS mode on the radio. So we can scan now using the radio and we'll pick up both uh, digital signals and also FM's analog signals. 
but what do these firmware updates do and how now can we use the YSX system well it's very simple inside the radio uh, there is a radio ID it's an electronic serial number uh, that radio uh, ID um, if you read your manual it will uh, it will tell you how to get that radio ID to display on your screen uh, write the radio ID for your particular radio down on a piece of paper and then go to uh, Yesu uh, Japan uh, Yesu YSX Japan um, I'll just bring up that site for you now I have been there before so yesu.com forward slash jp forward slash in en forward slash yzx and that will bring you here okay this is the user portal for uh, uh, for the uh, yesu yzx system and uh, in here you will find a link to register for uh, for the uh, or register the uh, the radio to be uh, able to be used on the YSX system. Um, the good thing about registering is it, it it attaches your call sign, the serial number of the radio, and it uh, gives you a set of DTMF ID numbers and room numbers. That's what you'll receive back. Uh, from Yesu so uh, when you get those numbers back uh, then you can run the YSX software so at the moment the radio is not in YSX mode it's not in what I call HRI mode um, so once you've uh, got the software and you've got your IDs from Yesu uh, this site is very good it'll tell you everything there is to know about YSX and C4FM in general um, but once you've done that and you've got your radio ID your DTMF ID and your room ID back from Yesu after you've registered um, you can download the software from yesu.com for the HRI 200 install it on your system you don't have to worry about your router anymore you don't have to worry about port forwarding anymore um, as you can see this is what the normal setup is and if you notice the red boxes at the top it's saying that there's nothing connected uh, to um, the PC and the YSX software i.e. it's not recognizing that the radio isn't connected now there's a simple way to do it uh, I've installed the software I've got my ID back from Yesu uh, I've run the software up this is what it comes up with uh, once your ID has been set in place so it's telling me that uh, there's a list of rooms and countries uh, on this side so as you can see just about every oh, major country in the world um, and uh, I've got some bookmarks in uh, from uh, from places I've already visited so you can actually bookmark uh, each of your uh, um, favorites uh, there is no search facility on this uh, which is a, a big letdown if there had been a search facility it would be fantastic so you downloaded the firmware for the radio and that's now in you've downloaded the software for the HRI 200 uh, portable node system from Yesu uh, that's uh, now up and running you've got your, um, your your ID codes back from Yesu and you put them into the software that's the first thing you have to do you have to put in the DTMF ID that you get back from Yesu and the room ID that you get back from Yesu it's very important if you don't put those in you can't go anywhere with the software it just won't do anything all it'll let you do is cancel <coughs> so make sure you do that okay so how do we get into YSX mode with the radio very simple turn your radio off hold in the GM and the uh, I have to do that right handed Just bear with me a second 
holding the DX and the GM buttons together and then press the power on button and you'll see it says yes who wires X direct you'll notice that the red boxes at the top of the screen that were red now pick up the fact that you've got a digital radio and that you're uh, it's connected to the PC and away you go it's that simple you are now on the wires X system so uh, we'll go to CQ UK which is a room I created two years ago 2000 January 2017 and we're connected and as you can see the radio is in direct mode uh, which means that there's no RF coming out of this radio even though it's an attached to an antenna uh, basically putting in wires X mode cuts the RF to the antenna and just sends the signal uh, via the programming cable uh, the SCU 20 or the SCU 19 if you're using an FT2D uh, it's it's sending the signal straight to the computer and down the internet so it's that easy you're now on wires X uh, we're in a room I'll uh, I'll put out a call this is M0 Sugar Gold Sugar Stuart in Pudsey West Yorkshire could I have a quick audio report I'm doing a video for YouTube on uh, on setting up uh, the FTM 100 uh, for uh, for demonstration purposes and educational purposes this is M0 SGS MM6 ORU M0 Sugar Golf Sugar. Uh, thank you very much for uh, coming back to the call. Uh, also, very good audio, and uh, hope the weather's not too bad for you up there in Scotland. From M0 Sugar Golf Sugar, Stuart in Pudsey, West Yorkshire. mm 6 ORU M0 SGS returning. Yeah, thanks very much for the info. And uh, I just want to uh, thank you. And do you mind if I use this video uh, or your uh, your transmission in a YouTube video uh, that I'm going to be putting on uh, the M0 SGS YouTube channel and also uh, Twitch TV from M0 Sugar Gold Sugar. Yeah, Roger, no problem. You get your lunch. Many thanks for the contact and uh, hope the weather improves. From M0 Sugar Gold Sugar in Pudsey, West Yorkshire, best 73s. I'm clear of the frequency. So, well, there you go. That's how easy it is to get on the wires X system now that the firmware updates have been done on the F, uh, FTM 100. The 400 is exactly the same. It's, uh, it's a super system. Um, not only do you get the call sign you get the mileage how far away they are from your station and it doesn't matter if you go through a repeater it gives you the mileage from station to station not mileage from station to repeater so brilliant system so how do we get back into normal mode of operation so you can use your antenna and uh, and uh, uh, you know normal power and analog uh, well it's basically exactly the opposite of what you did to get into it so you press uh, turn the power off to the radio 
um, which I'll do now and you'll notice that uh, the software will uh, will go red again at the top and then if you hold the GM button and the DX button in together while powering the radio back on that will put you back into uh, into normal mode it's very hard for me to do this because I've got big fingers and they're little buttons so if I don't get it right first time oh I did get it right first time just do it again and there we are we're back on uh, 145 500 in AMS mode which is uh, the, the digital and analog mode I'll just put it back into FM there we go so we're now back in FM mode and we can use the radio as if it was a standard analog radio so that's the first of a set of videos that I'll be doing on uh, on the this particular radio but it will apply to the FC2D and the uh, FCM400 hope you've enjoyed it hope it's been informative thanks for watching this is M0 Sugar Gold Sugar in Pudsey, best 73s.